Fatima College won the toss and elected to bowl and quickly got the wicket of Riyad Mohammed bowled for seven. But it was all presentation San Fernando after that, as Brendan Budu and Saif Ali constructed an 88-run stand that provided a solid platform moving into the final five overs. Budu enjoyed the flat pitch at the National Cricket Center with this glorious one over cover. He continued his stroke play, this one bringing up the press 50. The national youth player made full use of anything loose. He eventually brought up his personal 50 from 31 balls. Fatima got their much needed breakthrough, the big wicket of Brendan Budu, gone for 55, 102 for 2. But Saif Ali continued the tempo. And so too did Adi Ramsaran. Skipper Jason Agard entered with some pinch hitting duties. And although under pressure, Fatima still gave 100% on the field. Is that what we get? Give yeah, from people for now? Yeah. Ooh, let's see. Presentation eventually closed their innings on a competitive 168 for 5 from their 20 overs. Adi Ramsaran second best with 35. For Fatima, Adrian Mahes was their top bowler, taking two wickets for 29 runs. The Prez Lions roared early with the wicket of Isaiah Fernandez gone for one. But skipper Joshua Davis did not back down. This one, the shot of the night. He took a liking to the Prez frontline pacer. and kept on dealing in boundaries. However, his explosive knock came to an end, caught for 35, 52 for 2. Upon Davis's departure, Aidan Owen and Issa Ali mounted a yoke of pressure on the Fatima outfit. Owen took his first. His second came soon after. He finished with best figures of four overs, two wickets for 18 runs. Zachary Siwa was Fatima's last hope of a successful chase. But Adi Ramsaran removed his bails. Siwa gone for 24, 101 for 5. The final ball of the game and the knockout punch was given and the celebrations began. The Intercal Trophy remains in South for a second consecutive year. Presentation San Fernando, your new 2024 Intercal T20 champions, winning by 37 runs.